I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Looks so good with the motion blur. <laughs> you guys can't see it. It's because you're watching it on a small screen. It's okay. I don't I don't fault you. I think I saw in an interview with one of the, uh, one of the voice actors, Dutch's voice actor. This apparently, and I, I would imagine the record still stands, this is the largest use of mocap in any one scene. Like, simultaneous use of motion capped actors in any one scene. Ever. Like, all these people are actually mocapped up actors walking around in a scene together. They're not just kind of like animated separately in isolation. And it really shows, man. It really shows. Nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here. And you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out. See if we can find... If they do Red Dead 3... I bet you play as Davy. I don't see what other choice we have. I bet you would play as Davy. Listen. That's your character. Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. Maybe. Now we've had. It's a pretty shitty name for a character, but. Days. <laughs> Dave. David. I loved Davy. Jenny. Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. If you'll be Dutch or Hosea? If I could throw myself Maybe. in the ground in their stead. Dutch would be the do it. the obvious Gladly. choice. But but we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. I think as a player it would be way more effective with a clean slate, playing as a clean slate. Following us. That's why Arthur worked. Cause you didn't know like anything about him. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through. Worse. It was easier for you as a player to become, to act in that vessel, to like see the game through those eyes. Because all the other characters come with too much baggage, I think personally, good or bad. Get yourselves. Go through the setting up of the game again. I think it would be way more interesting through the. Oh, I love this bit. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. He's excellent in this game too. You knew he was. They they had a good idea for Dutch from the first game, but like they only gave you like a peek at it. But they really came through. The sequel. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. Something completely different would be ideal. I, I think it. I think it would. I think it would work better, personally. Like I said, the clean slate, right? Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors. And we know like nothing about Davy, really. How long he's. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. The fucking snow. Never get over the snow tracks in this game. They do snow tracks in this game better than games that just like take place entirely in the snow. It is a little, it's kind of, kind of, uh, sluggish? What's this? I don't think that will help.
Maybe we should just play with DLSS one. Hold on. Okay, hold on. We'll try DirectX 12. I know Vulcan's supposed to be better, but I find it very seldom is. It worked better in Doom. That was one game it looked better in. Oh, we get a restart? Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to, like, start the whole campaign again. R6 Siege is better in R6 Siege as well? My understanding is like if you can if you if you got a Vulcan enabled uh chipset you should probably always use it. It's still kind of choppy. That's disappointing. I already need to upgrade my video card? My god. Maybe? Alright. <sighs> Alright, we'll give this a shot. Cool! Oh, uh, hopefully I don't have to start all over again. Not a big deal, so. Cool world, I've been wronged. Hope you guys like that song. I'm gonna be singing that a lot. I keep dropping frames though. Looks like it crashed too. Great. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's restarting. Whoops. Right. I'm not used to a game actually restarting. I was just take that to mean like a fancy way for closing the game. Fancy name for closing the game. Oops. Oh no, it's gonna stop it now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I told Steam to stop loading it. Oh, maybe not. Okay. What are the graphics at now? Crew, crew, what? What? All my settings have changed. Come on, man. You're killing me here. Fuck's sake. Okay, fuck it. We'll just do DLSS. Maybe some of these settings might be for like people with 3090s, right? This is why people spend like fifteen hundred dollars on a video card so the clouds in red dead redemption 2 look a little bit better that's all i thought of when i saw that what the new four what's it called the four four forty series bunch of motherfuckers spending two thousand dollars on a video card so their puddles in night city look better crazy man absolutely bonkers what I don't want to reset. Why well, gotta reset? Maybe that's why I was so choppy before. Always in their toys, I guess, though, right? What game? Like, what? <laughs> what would you need a 40 series card for? 
I guess if you have like a 4K monitor, maybe. Maybe if you're playing at like a super high resolution. Oh boy, you're playing Red Dead. I'm trying. We're we're still in the uh obsessively fiddling with settings phase. What's up, Rank Squid? You played it twice? That's it? Jeez. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's definitely a game that uh benefits playing twice. How do I Game? How do I load game? Sorry. Game is extremely stretched and gets boring for me? Fair enough. Especially if you're doing like all the uh, side content stuff, I don't know. I think I played it three times on PlayStation and then one time on PC. This will be second time on PC now. It's so good, man. I don't know if I'll actually finish this. We'll see. I don't expect I will. Suspect I will. Maybe I need, like, video card drivers. Oh, John, you're all wet! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Looks like someone dipped him in chrome. Oh, John, you're a mess. That ain't right. Uh, <laughs> lubed up? Yeah, bingo. Oh, man, he's ready for a wild night. Eh? What? What would that be? Do you see a grease setting? Grease levels? Maybe I gotta reboot the game? <laughs> it did say I had to reboot. Sorry, guys. I, I did warn you that this is going to be like an hour of this shit. Okay, we'll try it again. PC struggles, man. It's like this with every fucking game, dude. Finding that sweet spot. I don't even like load into games most of the time. I just go right to settings now. Fuck with a bunch of shit. Break the game. And then slowly unfuck it. That's the play. Okay, now hands off the wheel here. It's, it's still rebooting, I think. That was much faster. Bow! I drink in mud? Yes. Yes, I am. What is that? It's uh, iced coffee. With a splash of mud. I guess it's like a cough. It's because it's coffee in like a regular glass. It looks funny. That and it looks like mud. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think this is better now. And I do indeed need to start a new story. Did you good? Did you do a good honor playthrough, Rank Squid, or were you a bad boy? Were you a very bad boy? It is one of the few games where there is like tons of subtle little changes, not even really apparent. If you do do like low honor or high honor. Questionable use of resources, but still. One good honor first time, bad honor second time. I, I would like to think that's probably like most people's. Whoop, that didn't work. 
Oh well, that just crashed big time. <sighs> All right. Okay. Wow, we're really uh knocking it out of the park here. I probably should have tested this out before I started streaming, eh? On hind in hindsight, might have might have done well to just to give it a load. Just to see. Whoops. Okay, why don't we shut down Chrome? Probably help. Nothing. Okay. I found all the little details like which NPCs respond and which ones stay dead. After you kill them. Old blind man responds, but only after chapter three. Man, you you just just went on a, a binge, eh? Good honor is canon, is it? I think the bo they're both technically canon, but given where where things kind of end and where Red Dead picks up, could be either really. I mean, John ends up in the same spot. He's just got different emo different emotions about it, right? Basically. I don't know, man. I don't I don't usually go around killing a bunch of NPCs when I play this game. Even when I'm like bad honor. Well, that's not true actually. It's like oh my god, there's tons of evidence of through me doing that very same thing. But I generally don't kill quest givers. I'm too paranoid that I won't be able to get them back. What is this now? My OBS is like Completely fucked. Does everything look okay on the stream? My OBS like preview screen is like 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 smushed together. It looks like I've like tried to format it for a phone really really poorly. It's fine, okay. Golly. <laughs> I think I'm not actually watching. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for the help, Rank Squid. Appreciate that, man. Did you play the first Red Dead? Rank Squid? Okay, let's see if John is still like lubed up. Oh dude, I think it crashed again. Bruh. <laughs> what? <sighs> Cursed. Okay, we'll give it one more shot. I'm gonna give it one more shot. After this, I don't know what we're gonna play. I've only got like Rust, Cyberpunk, Factorio, Kenshi, Scription, Elden Ring, Raft. That's it. I haven't installed too many games since my computer crashed. None of those sound good for streaming right now. Maybe Rust? Maybe. I only have like... No, not even. I think we'll just end the stream. Honestly. The lady's supposed to be home in like an hour. What can I do? Okay, what? Maybe it was the Vulcan thing? Maybe I gotta go back to Vulcan. It's been crashing ever since I went to DirectX 12. Concerning. Da 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 da! It loaded in okay the first time. Do do. Oh, this is gonna be another restart, isn't it? Fuck's sake, dude. Okay. Uh, one, one more time after this. <laughs> one more time now. Starting now. Okay. I don't remember it the first time playing this on PC having so many issues.
Na 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 na. This is the one. One mobile, so who knows? I played half of it or a quarter. Not bad. It's like you said, it's a very, very long game. Other than perhaps Gwarma, but even Gwarma, I think, serves its purpose. Like, I would argue it's not too long. You just have to know what you're getting into. Okay. No. Like, I totally appreciate in this day and age people don't have time for a 70-hour story <laughs> in a game. I totally get that. What? Oh, man. This is a struggle. Okay. Forgot, you gotta use your keyboard for this. Favorite quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it doesn't involve 70% horse riding, I'm fine with playing it once, I think. Not really true. I love the long stories you get your money's worth from it. Well, yeah, but like, it's it's not really like a true or false kind of thing. Uh, it's really just, you know, someone's opinion. <laughs> There's no like truth or false. Like, to you, that's that's fine. But to someone with like three kids and only like 15 minutes, 20 minutes a night to play a video game. You know, a 70 hour story is a lot to ask. And it's, they, they can't get, they don't have time to commit to it, right? That's what I mean. Like the reality of a lot of people at our age, like what, what time they have to play a game is quite limited. So I can totally see why they don't want to play a 70 hour story. But I mean, from a cost perspective i mean i i guess so yeah i don't i don't really like view games on like a dollar per hour spent value basis you can have like a pretty expensive game that was really really good it cost you 80 bucks but you only play once right but it was still worth the money you still enjoyed yourself it's more subjective it's not so binary right it could be a good metric i think a better metric though is like yeah, like, like, how long does it take to beat? Just for, like, not, not, nothing to do with price, but, like, people want to know, like, how long does a game take to play, man? They don't got the time. They don't got the patience. They don't got the attention span increasingly. RDR2 is too long for me. You're then, you're then, the, the end of the game definitely drags. At a certain point, it's just like, especially some of John's later missions, like all the stuff with like the Skinners, a lot of the stuff after, um, oh, what's it called? After you get back from Gwarma, it, 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 like there's some really good missions, there's some really good plot beats in there, but they're so bogged down by like massive amounts of like killing, <laughs> just killing tons and tons of like soldiers and police like it gets a little unbelievable toward the end all for the sake of like ramping up difficulty but i suppose i'm able to overlook that mainly because my video game brain is just like attuned to that but it, it definitely kind of like jumps the shark i feel like the the like last third of the game is not the strongest i would say Although it does have some great, like the epilogue is really good. It's a great segue into Red Dead. Um, and setting up, like if you're a fan of John Marston, like that's what you were kind of waiting for the whole game, right? Seeing John before, uh, really getting to get in John's shoes before the events of Red Dead. I've seen some people say like Gwarma, like 
that's like four hours of the game, two hours of the game, whatever. That could have just been like cut right out. But I liked, I like Gorma, man. Stop the Gorma second playthrough. It really does kind of, it does kind of change. I mean, the, the tone shifts definitely too. It becomes less like carefree, less kind of like Wild West, typical Wild West. It does get a lot fucking more depressing after that point too. Both in like the missions and in like Arthur. Like Arthur is just a fucking mess. Just like a disease ridden mess by that point. Okay, I think we're ready to go finally. Assuming it doesn't crash. Bum, bum, bum. But th like you and me, I fly, we are like. You know, for people our age, I think we're like the exception, right? That have, or are able to spend like, you know, sometimes like five, six hours, numerous days a week, um, just playing games nonstop. I think for a lot of people our age, that's not really, like they still play games, but like, that's not like their reality, right? They do other shit or they got families they got to take care of and help out with or whatever. God knows there's no shortage of like, Fucking dads online being like, I wish I had more time to play games. <laughs> Vindicating my choice not to have children. Every, every goddamn minute that they can. Does that make it better? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to ride up to Abigail here. Just want to see. This is looking a lot smoother though. Oh shit, you can hold alt in this game to do stuff? Damn, son. Oh yeah. That's gonna take some unwinding. I keep wanting to look around with alt. Got that rust brain. Oh man, the fucking animations in this game too. Unreal. So good. Not laggy. No, it's smooth as butter now, but see... Their faces are so, like, muddy from so far away. Woo! I don't get off the horse. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I'll talk to you, boy. Where you at, boy? I think it looks okay. What the fuck was that? You left the axe on the floor, boy! Hey, baby. <laughs> Maybe later. Looking for the buy. Where'd he go? Oh, what's this? Can you actually go up here? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I've been up here before. Uncle's room, of course. Why are you gonna make the drunk man walk all the way up the fucking ladder every time? Got that lumbago! Nice. Got that cocaine gum, too. That's a big yoink. How do you talk to people again? You can, like, target them, right? Oh, right click. That's right. How's your back? Giving me terrible pain. I'm lucky I wasn't smoked through. Yeah, you'll recover. And real quick, I bet. I wonder if they'll have that in uh, GTA 6. Being able to have like random conversations with characters on the street instead of just shooting everyone. That being like your primary interaction with them. Busting caps. I hope they do. Even if it's like super limited like in this game. John's still kind of shiny. I don't know about the reflections. They're kind of fucked up. Okay. Uh, story. New game. We're doing it. It's actually being done. Another thing I like about this game is there are still some mysteries in the game that I think most of the community would agree are yet to be solved or don't really add up. 
and knowing Rockstar's like love of super complicated Easter eggs, like I think the GTA Five um, Mount Chiliad Easter egg was only recently kind of pieced together, or at least what that mural at Mount Chiliad meant. No jetpack, sadly. I mean, we did just watch this all, right? Can I even skip it? No. Should we skip this too? Let's see how much better it looks. If it's smoother. Oh yeah, much smoother. Okay, perfect. Is that Davy? I think that's Davy there. Yeah, it is. Someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur, any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Yeah. He's talking about the alien Easter egg with UFOs. There are a couple of those, yeah. Or like the uh, the third meteorite piece that is yet to be found, but has been confirmed by Rockstar to be in the game. No one, I think, to the to, to date has been able to locate it. Although some Rockstar QA person, or what's it called? Like online support person confirmed at one point that it is in the game somewhere. Tons of little mysteries. There's a few murals located around the, uh, the map that some people have theorized have larger meaning, but haven't quite been able to piece together the grand scope of it. And I mean, there, there was, like, dating back to uh, San Andreas, GTA San Andreas, right? Like, fans just come up with their own theories and shit. Sometimes I feel like Rockstar just puts stuff in the game to fuck with people, just let them come up with their own stories and cockamimi ideas. The hair, the hair does look noticeably worse, I will say. Bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. Maybe we can chooch up the hair somehow. We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this. And I'm pretty sure Rockstar has said in uh, investor conference calls that. Like, they only plan to make Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead games going forward, so I, I would bet, I would imagine there's going to be a Red Dead 3 someday. I don't know if it would be as yearned for and justified as this game, but I would not be surprised. Sometime after GTA 6, I don't think they'll do a Bully 2. Bully was already a, it was like a cult hit. It like kind of made its money long after its release. Yeah. If I could Rockstar doesn't do that anymore though. They don't play. <laughs> they they just make big, massive, billion dollar generating games, that's it. But isn't one of those hoaxes said to be uh said to be that CJ is Franklin's cousin? Everybody I mean technically Rockstar has said that following us through a storm like this one. The uh, universe that uh, San Andreas and Vice City and GTA 3 take place in is a separate universe than the HD universe that began with GTA 4 and continued with 5. And even, um, I was going to say even this game, but I think, yeah, I think the Red Dead and GTA universe are linked, if I'm not mistaken. Stay strong. They definitely are through Francis Sinclair. The time traveler, but like he's traveling through dimensions, so. Come on, Arthur. I, I don't think can canonically. I don't think C J is related to Franklin, at least according to Rockstar. 
I ain't had time to but there is the obvious nod to uh, Grove Street in GTA 5, but I feel like that's all that it really is, right? It's just like a nod. It's not meant to be a detailed recreation of CJ's house or environment. Just kind of like a little wink to uh, where players spent so much time when they first started San Andreas. And for more, many players would be like the only place they know because they stopped playing the game not long after. Oh, this looks so much smoother now. Okay, perfect. All right, let's head out. <laughs> yeah. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has. I did want to see if I can chooch up the branches a bit and <laughs> the hair. Hold on. Is there like a hair setting? The things you ask when you're playing video games. It's bullet holes. Fur quality? <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't believe it. There, because Grove and San Andreas is green turf, but in GTA 5. It's purple? Oh, true. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, that's true. Like, Grove Street Gang is in, uh... Not Grove Street. What's it called? And you can even see it. I know there's, like, that Easter egg. Like, you can see CJ and Ry Big Smoke and Ryder. Like, riding their bikes during a mission. If you, like, go down a road at the right time. But like it's the again, that's just like an easter egg, right? Like I don't think it's supposed to indicate like that's CJ. Ballas, that's the other one. Ballas, that's right. That's right. Yeah, the Ballas are definitely they play more of a prominent part. But I think the story goes is like like the Ballas took over, right? Like eventually just like the Crips and Bloods, like one year one's on top, the other the other another year another one's on top, like Kind of how it goes with gang shit. Like the Italian mafia used to like run the states. Now it's the Russian mob. Thanks, Giuliani. Okay, I see no hair sliders. Sadly. It's to blow over soon. Hey yeah. So much faster. Oh, there we go. Careful over this bridge here. Easy, Tiger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, sorry. In San Andreas, he's just this gross ass family had to take back turf from Ballas. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, I, like Rockstar's very cagey about what they say about their games, but they've they've definitely gone on the record as saying that they're not they don't take place in the same universe. We need to get those people warm. Like as far as I'm aware that like Donald Love and CJ and all that shit like don't exist we'll be on the other side. in games four and later later on the others back up you're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now we got fire and shelter that's a start here we go Dutch I forget. Oh, right. This is Sadie, right? We go find Sadie now. The first time I played this game, like, I was really taken aback by, like... Like, I didn't know how it was going to start. But I thought this was such an odd... Odd choice of beginning. The game. But, of course, by the end of it, you're like, it makes a lot more sense, right? Like, it all kind of fits together. Why Sadie's like the first thing you come across first first it's she's like the apex right the Kind of changes Arthur's fate and fortune in so many ways Gentlemen found anything I think so found a little homestead down that way. Okay anyone home? Sure 
place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's Jenny. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. Like even if even if you do. In Red Dead 3, even if you do play as Davy or whoever. Hosea, Dutch, whatever. I am kind of left wondering, like, where do they leave the game off? Presumably after the Blackwater raid? But then, like, how do they have, like, the open world sandbox after the game's done? I'm sure they'd figure out a way, but, like, it's nothing seems too apparent to me. Maybe they would end the game before the Blackwater raid? But, like, fuck, man, everyone... Not everyone, but... That raid has been mentioned since the first game. Like, it'd be kind of kind of cool to actually experience it, see it. But at the same time, sometimes leaving shit to the imagination is much more unsettling. Rather than seeing, like, the madness that, or the violence that Dutch committed, just having that be, like, in the back of your brain and letting your brain have to fill in the gaps. That could be more unsettling. I don't know. I really struggle to think of uh, where they would leave it. Hi, Micah. Oh, yeah, I forgot we could be chat with him. Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. In this, I wish they gave you the option, like, in GTA, to switch between storylines like have Arthur and John as playable. I guess, I guess so. I, I kind of like that they didn't just, uh... They didn't go back to that. There was a certain point, like, I remember when the, the first Red Dead trailer came out, like, and it had those seven riders just riding over the mountain, and you're like, oh my god, are you gonna be able to switch between seven people? That'd be so cool. But now, having experienced just Arthur's story, I'm very glad they went with, like, they, they make you hang on Arthur, get to know Arthur. I, I think in GTA 5, that kind of, it, it kind of was worked to the detriment of the story having three different characters. I felt like it really made for some uneven tonal shifts. Um, especially when you were like forced to play as Trevor, who was just like, I mean, yeah, he's like a, you know, he fits just fine into the GTA universe, but he was just such a stooge, such a, I don't know. <laughs> Cringy madman, I don't know. It just really took me out of it a lot. And stash I liked, uh, no, I know, I kind of, in, in the end, I liked that they hung on Arthur. Much easier to get close to the character, rather than having to be, like, balanced out, you know, should I be playing as John right now, or Arthur? I think Rockstar rightly identified that. They had a very strong character here. People already knew who John Marston is, at least well enough. They kind of know where he ends up. They certainly know how his story ends. Um... Whereas Arthur, again, is a clean slate. They can have so much, do so much more with him. And this is kind of like a happy compromise, right? Now you get to play as John forever and ever and ever, basically. I can't remember who pointed it out, but it was like oddly fitting, right? Like you, you uh, Let's hitch up here. after the shitty fate that befell him at the end of Red Dead, the first game. At the end of this game, you get to see Arthur, Arthur just, or what's it called? John live out his best days. For as long as you want. Easy. Instead of playing as his shitty son Jack, who was probably Javier's kid anyway, <laughs> or maybe Arthur's, who knows? It is kind of hinted at numerous times that uh, we don't want to spook these fine people. That ain't that ain't uh, John's kid. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating. I like the idea that it would be Javier. It would make the the significance of him having to find Javier in the first game that much more. Jeez, I just talked over all that dialogue, sorry. Sorry to anyone that's actually wanted to watch the story. This is not the playthrough to watch, I've played this game too many times. I'm going, Dutch, I'm going! I'm just walking and taking my time like the Hauser's intended. Oh, we get to do a shooty-shooty now. 
No, no, you misunderstood. I mean, like, they both have a separate story. Like, you play basically two campaigns. You play fully through one Hello. to get the other kind of Hello, DLC friend. type. Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry. Oh, so, so you just get to, like, choose, like, when you play which one? Some uh, I, I guess so. I can't even, fig like, imagine how that would be better than what they've done here. We can't help this is much more of a traditional narrative. I, got folks. I mean, I guess it would be nice. I just don't know... What, why? I'm not seeing the benefit. Get out of here, Stitches, please! There's a body. Please! <laughs> ah! Why? Keep your eyes on Dutch. Tickles so much, and people can't hear me! Oh god, Stitches, please. Okay. Select a weapon. Please tap. Alright. Oh god! Stitches! Ah! Oh yeah, you gotta cock the gun. I forgot about that. One from the Not no more. Oh, that guy was good. Oh, I love that you have to cock the gun. Who's this fucking guy? No. Got him. Didn't seem to be going too well. What are you doing? Hey! Watch out, Stitches! You gotta go, buddy. Oh, tickles! The shooting in this game is so satisfying, dude. Got such a punch to it. I love how slow the guns are too. Smells like a party in here. Turn the plate Hi. upside down. Grab as many supplies Hi. as you can. We need the essentials: food, medicine. Whiskey. <laughs> oh, Dutch. Never change. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. Oh, Stitches, please. It tickles so much, dude. I can't even. I can't do anything when he's doing this. <laughs> ah! God. It's like, I can't, I try to just like, not be bothered by it, but it's just this constant, ow. Constant licking on my hands. It just sends shivers up my spine. Oh, stitches. Is it time to end the stream, buddy? I think you want some loving, eh? Like, you can't, you can't show that on the stream. No, don't be doing that. Easy. Oh, and he's like, licks my mouse and shit too. It's so gross, dude. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Okay, bye. Hi. <gasps> Hi, big boy. Oh, God. He's just looking the other one now. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. God, Stitches. It's so annoying. Oh my god. You gotta go, dude. You gotta go. I can't do it. You gotta sit there, okay? Just sit there and shut up. Thank you. Where was this hidey hold again? can't remember. Oh, here he comes. He's coming back. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I know. I know. I can't stay mad at you. You're too sweet. Oh, fuck. You stink, though. Okay. We'll finish this mission and then we'll go, okay, Sitches? Give you some loving. Oh, you poor baby. Blood. All oh, right, you can like look at stuff. Oh yeah, he wants me to come outside. Sorry, Dutch. Sorry, I'm coming, Dutch. We gotta go beat the guy up in the barn first. I forgot. Micah, 
Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Yes, sir. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. 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 Man, it's so great to see Roger Clark on social media too. Like the guy that does Arthur's voice. Like you can tell this is a guy that spent like, you know, 20, 15, 20 years like hustling, grinding, trying to like make it work as an actor. And then finally, finally, he fucking lands the role of a lifetime, dude. Left alt to hold C your objective. And now he just like completely leans into it. Like he's constantly interacting with fans. Oh god, he's like sitting on the keyboard. I can't use it. Go! You gotta go, buddy. <laughs> I can't do my thing here. Jesus. Hey fella. I don't know, it's, it's really great to see. He'll probably be milking it for the rest of his life. Just doing like little videos and cameos and conventions and stuff. But he seems like the genuine article, man. Like such a nice guy. Real down to earth, real cool. I mean, I guess it's all curated for social media that I'm watching, but still. Even at like conventions and stuff like that, he seems like the, the genuine article. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Hi, fella. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you <laughs> bastards doing? <laughs> Why punch? are you up here? A smack in the mouth? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. Just so annoying sometimes, cat. <laughs> Say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. What do we do? Please. Get the hell out of here. Now let him go. I think I beat the shit out of him last time. Two two different buttons for picking up stuff. Interesting. Focus on the horse. Calm. Oh no, we gotta turn off the map key. <laughs> That's the Chester button. <laughs> Whoops. Calm. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta turn that off. <laughs> yeah, good boy. <laughs> okay, it's working. Lead. Stop licking the microphone, dude. <laughs> Sorry, that probably sounds gross. Stop stitches! Oh, it's covered in like old coffee stains and stuff. Don't stop. <laughs> I think this is over. He's not gonna let me do my thing. Yeah. God damn cat. Don't want him bolting. I'm on it. We're hitching. Get away from me! Yeah! Micah, what the hell do you think you're doing? I got you now. Come here. Oh, look what I found in the cellar. Oh, I thought we found her. It was Micah. Wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them O'Driscoll. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. Oh, you fool. Michael. That's bad for business, that boy, Michael. He's bad for business. Miss. Miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. He really does kind of set up like all the principal players, right? Right in this one little mission. Three days ago. These four are kind of like. Well, I guess John to a lesser extent, but his his role doesn't become more important till later. Can't stay here. You come with us, Arthur. 
Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Oh, man. Getting the fucking ASMRs. As soon as that guitar comes in. Oh. Lenny! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. <laughs> Burned it all down. And his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler... I don't know, the hair looks okay. fucked up. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <sighs> Cancel. We're canceling Micah. Oh, he's back. Okay. Just in time. Yes. Hi. We're going, Stitches, don't worry. Well, <laughs> it was a lot of buildup for one mission, but I gotta go. I want to get supper started, and Lady French should be home within an hour, so. Say bye, Stitches. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for chilling out, iFly. You two rank squid. Gonna play some Wreckfest. Nice. Yeah, that was such a good game. Enjoy, man. See ya, Tendi. Bye, Glenn Boy. Kamikaze. Thanks for chilling out, boys. Mochi. It's good seeing you, Bucket. Cheers. Chicken Studios, Andro. Inquisitoriorium. All the best to you guys. Have a great afternoon. 90. Till next time. Thank you, guys. For spending your time with me. Appreciate it. We'll do it again soon. I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe tomorrow? Actually, I think I got stuff I gotta do tomorrow. Uh, I'm always your BB just lurking. Well, I appreciate that, man. Cheers. Shout out to the lurkers like I fly. Appreciate it. Uh, probably back, t probably back, if not tomorrow. Not till next week. I don't know. We got a lot of wedding stuff to do next week, though. I think Tuesday and Wednesday, I might be doing like a nice little, like maybe we'll do like a more Red Dead or maybe like a Monday wipe on Rust. We'll just play two days on some EU server or something like that. It'll be popping at that time. Until next time though, guys. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out, spending your time with me. Appreciate it. See you soon. Back into the void I go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, that's my Steam menu. There it is. Bye-bye. Thanks, iFly. Take care, man. All the best. Hopefully you pick up uh, Modern Warfare, dude. I think if you're trying to weigh, like, what what would be the best investment, I feel like Modern Warfare would be a better, better use of your funds. But I leave it up to you. See you soon, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Take care, Bucket.